Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to distinguish between the four expressions used in phonology. They are the phoneme, morpheme, allophone, and allomorph. They are also used in phonetics as well, since we are talking about the consonants and the vowels. Before going through the details for this uh, file, I'll get you the difference between them in simple words. So at the beginning, we have something called phoneme. And the different pronunciations for phoneme is something called allophone. So simply, once we say phoneme, what we mean by is the sounds, the vowels or consonants. So the sounds in general. So uh, we have, for example, the T sound, the Z sound, the OI sound, uh, where we're talking about vowels and so on. Now, the different pronunciations for them, for the one sound, is called the allophone. Actually, before going through the details, it's necessary to know that in English, the different pronunciations for the uh, vowels and consonants don't change the meaning as they do in some other languages like Chinese or Korean or Russian. So, for example, once we have um, this word, like, for example, the word stop, okay, so the sa is a phoneme, the ta is a phoneme, the a is a phoneme, and the pa is a phoneme. So simply we can say that this word has four phonemes. Okay, now let's go ahead with uh, the ta sound, for example. Now the ta sound is, um, is a stop sound. Okay, this is, um, the, the, the learners of phonology are familiar with these uh, expressions. So uh, sometimes for the ta sound, or let's say for the pa sound, we can uh, pronounce them in different ways. So sometimes like we say stop for the pa sound, it's not necessary to have a full puffing for the pa sound. Uh, whereas in words like this one, put, we say, so since it comes at the beginning of the word, of the word, so uh, the pa sound will be uh, pronounced with a huge number of puffing. So you will say put. It's almost different from the word stop, okay? That is the, the amount of puffing will be less. And uh, the word like speak, we don't say speak, speak, no, we say speak. So the amount of puffing will be less than the amount of puffing for the past sound that it comes at the beginning of the word or by the end of the word. So um, these different pronunciations for the the past sound, for example, are called the allophones. So simply you can say that the phoneme is pa and the uh, allophone is the different pronunciation for pa, whether it comes at the beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, after the sa sound, for example, or by the end of the word. It's not necessary, uh, actually, for its location to determine the amount of puffing to be uh, produced, but sometimes it has to be uh, dealt with its location um, inside the word, what comes before and what comes after. This is actually has um, nothing to do in English because whether we say speak or speak, the meaning will not be changed. But this will be changed, uh, I mean, the meaning will be changed whether we produce it in some other languages like Chinese. So simply, this is the difference between phoneme and allophone. Now, let's go ahead now with the uh, difference between uh, morpheme, morpheme and the pronunciation, the different pronunciations for morpheme, something called allomorph, allomorph. Okay, so morpheme, what we mean by is the affix, whether we're talking about uh, the suffix or the prefix. And the different pronunciation for, uh, for these affixes will be called the allomorph. Uh, actually, it has, uh, it's not necessary for all affixes or for all phonemes to have different allomorphs, but we will talk about some of them. For instance, the sa, um, this suffix, the sa, which is used uh, either with the plural or with the third person singular uh, verbs in simple present, uh, has three, let's say, three allomorphs, has three 
different pronunciations. So sometimes it is pronounced as sa, and sometimes it's pronounced as za, and sometimes it is pronounced as is. Um, actually, this um, uh, this rule for pronunciation is discussed in details in other videos regarding the pronunciation. But I'll give you like um, small examples. So, uh, for example, we can say cats. The sa here is pronounced as a sa. We can say uh, dogs. The sa here is pronounced as a za. And we can say houses. The sa here is pronounced as is. So we can say that this sa is the morpheme since it is the suffix. And the different pronunciation for this sa uh, is called or are called the allomorph. This will be applied as well with uh, some other affixes, with uh, some other um, suffixes like the ed, for example, and some other ones. Let's go ahead now to see what we have here in the, uh, in the file. So here at the beginning, we have... Um, uh, definition for phoneme so it is said that it is the smallest unit of a speech distinguishing one word from another in other words we are talking about the sounds we we're talking about the vowels and the consonants and here once we say the types of phonemes it is similar to say the types of uh, sounds how many sounds do we have in this language so we're talking about the vowels and the consonants and how to count the number of phonemes in a word? It is similar to say how to count the number of uh, sounds. For example, we have, uh, for instance, this word. Okay, uh, like for example, green. So simply, we can say how many um, f how many phonemes do we have in this word, the word green, or how many sounds do we have? It is similar. So simply, we can say we have g sound, r sound and the E sound, which is a vowel sound, long vowel sound, and the N sound. So by the end, we will have uh, four uh, phonemes or four uh, sounds in this word. So once we are counting the phonemes, it's similar to once we are so counting the number of the sounds. And what is the difference between a phoneme and a letter? It is similar to what is the difference between a letter and a sound. And this is actually is discussed and explained in details in some other videos in this channel. Uh, then we go through the um, the allophone, the uh, yeah the allophone, which is which means the different pronunciation for the phoneme. And it is um, as I've told you before in English, it has nothing to change with the with the meaning, but it works a lot with some other languages like Chinese and Russian. And uh, how do you write the allophones? Uh, this means we have to get square brackets. This uh, this works with phonology uh, rather than with phonetics. Now, in phonetics, we are using slashes just to say the, uh, let's say, the pronunciation for the sounds, where, whereas with the allophones, we're using square brackets. So, for example, uh, for the aspiration, we have to get this um, this sign. Um, just to say that the, this uh, sound or this phoneme is aspirated. Okay, uh, aspiration is discussed in other videos as well. Uh, then we have uh, got the morpheme, and we said um, morpheme means affixes. Uh, so the types of morphemes, it's similar to say the types of affixation. So we have suffixes and prefixes. Um, and it is also discussed in, uh, I mean, the, the, the affixes this is discussed in other videos. Then the allomorphs, we have the different pronunciation for the uh, morphemes. And uh, by the end, we have got some examples. The example that I've uh, explained uh, is regarding the sah sound, this one. The other examples that we have uh, is regarding the ed suffix that it has three different pronunciations or three different allomorphs. So we have uh, either to be pronounced as a ta or a da or ed. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you for listening.